All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Kelvin Gastelum. On April 13, 2013, he upset Uriah Hall to win the Ultimate Fighter. Six years later, he challenged for interim UFC middleweight gold, unable to finish the job that night, but a valuable 25-minute exchange there with Israel Adesanya, one of the best title fights we have ever seen. And now Gaslam trying to rebuild and get back to the top of the game. And it starts today. The journey back to the top starts at level one, and Kelvin Gaslam will embrace that. He will look at it and he will say, I am up to this journey. I'm up to the fight. I'm up to the uphill battle. I am up for the preparation of trying to become a champion. It's been a soul goal for Gaston. And he will do everything in his power, starting tonight, to put himself back in a UFC championship fight. All right, so here he is, the inimitable last style bender, Israel Adesanya, still undefeated as a mixed martial artist. DC, you tried to bring him in to emulate John Jones back in the day, and he's such a meticulous, thoughtful guy that he said no because Luke Rocco was in that gym and he thought he might have to fight him on. He knew that at some point he would reach Luke Rocco in his division, so he said, you know what? I want to help you, DC, but I can't because of what's going to happen going forward in my career. He did not want to put Luke or himself in such an awkward situation. How about forward thinking? How about forward thinking that that could have come to pass only a few short years later? But in Israel Asanya, you also have the mentality, but the fighting ability to become a UFC champion in only 12, 13 months. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Adesanya is three years his senior. He will have a nine inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Kelvin Gastelum. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last day. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch guards is not fight. Ready. Touch you 
as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get his range to even start to think about striking. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. That was something. Nice strike. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just spinning out of his hand, moving and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon and fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asante. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Good takedown defense by Israel. Spinning back fist. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Adesanya. Right on the button. Oh! News hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Gastelum goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Back to the feet now. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Twenty seconds left. Right hand upstairs. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Adesanya. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Also, the title fighter lands a knee yet again. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's been pretty over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think you're going low, but right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Stuff to take down, no problem. So we lean on the numbers here. 47 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And in terms of the accuracy rate, 41% tonight against Kelvin Gast. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? That's a good right hand right there. 
Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Kick to the body by Adesanya. Muay Thai pump. Gastelum's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Nice punch land. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. his opponent can take. Oh, massive oh. shot that he landed. Great job. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Third ready. round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Dig and kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh! He is Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him down. Great balance, great awareness. Move the head back to side. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to matchmake him moving forward. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 49 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Israel! Celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.